Good day, traders. This is Rich with some Trade Station platform action. Currently 1.05 p.m. June 13, 2020. I just got done with a video on how I use Tesla trading using the matrix. And now it's time to show you how to do a full setup of the market depth, um, aka level two using TradeStation. Um, I've received several questions about how I get my level two to look like this, and it's not like this at all straight out of the gate. And I need you to watch what I do. I might bumble through it a little bit because the windows, there's, a, there's so many options. Um, long story short, there are a ton of options when it comes to TradeStation in each particular application. So all these are apps, they're considered apps within the platform. And the cool thing is you can create multiple desktops, you can create multiple workspaces, but that'll be a different video, but I just wanna get into the level two stuff. So although it can be a little bit difficult to set up, once you have it set up and saved, you can go like this, copy window, paste window, and you only have to set it up once and you can put this on any of the, um, desktops or workspaces you want into the future. And you can change those however you want, if you want to use bracket orders and whatnot, or certain accounts, for example, um, you know, you could change some of the things within. So let's just go through it and see what we can um, discover here together. I'm gonna take it one step at a time. And if I mumble through it again, um, I apologize, I don't, you know, I had a, the first time I worked through it, it took me literally over an hour um, to get it the way I wanted, if not more. So under apps, we hit market depth. And once you open up market depth, look at the difference, okay? You have pretty much straightforward coloring here. And we're not gonna see the prices move because it's Saturday, but you get the idea of, you know, what I'm trying to do here by clicking through the window. So I'm gonna keep it pretty big because if, if I go small, you can certain things get kind of minimized like that and I'll miss that. Not that I'm gonna be this small, but I wanna make sure I have everything covered. So out of, out of the gate, it has everything up here in terms of the quote bar, um, you know, the symbol to your account, to the quantity you wanna trade. So if I, trade, if I go up to say 500 shares, it will go up 500 shares. And this is a nice little feature to have on there. And I have it here, but I have it in bigger text. I might reduce it based on more information, but it allows me to see the open, the low, and the high. According to here, I don't have those features just yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the bar the way I have it now. And I currently have only, and it's, you know, I've, I've minimized certain things. I have the symbol, the open, the low, the high, the volume, the position, the open PL, and the quantity. So we have a couple extra things here on this one that we don't need. Let's go ahead and change those. So to do that, you just have to hit settings here and go down to quote, go to columns and go to quote bar. So when you're on the quote bar, you have all these different options already in here. These are the ones that are selected. These are the ones that are available. So you can see I can, I can add all this information here. I can add VWAP, volume total, trade exchange, trade size. Let's, let's just go ahead and add a bunch of these things and see um, what it looks like. What we'll everything. You know, we'll see what it looks like. And it's gonna be over, overly done here. Um, you can see all this information you can have on the quote bar, but do we really need everything here? I mean, I, I doubled up a couple things because I just hit the, you know, available. I don't think so. So let's go ahead and go back in there. We go to columns, we go to quote bar, and then what's, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove everything. We're gonna go, we're gonna go clean slate and start there. So right now, well, they won't let me do all everything. So let's go high, we'll put high in there. And okay, so we have the high price of the day. So let's go ahead and put in what we really want. And I'm gonna reduce this a little bit because I wanna be able to see what I have over on the one I'm using, um, columns quote bar. And so we want the symbol, of course. So let's go down to symbol, we'll do that first. We'll go high, you'll add that. We have the open price. So open price is important to me because I want to see when I do a trade that requires the opening price, I want that up here. And obviously, obviously, obviously 980 was a good opening price because of the whole number. Um, we'll do the low and the high. So we'll do the low, we'll do the last, 
already have high, so we don't need that. Uh, volume total put in there. Where's that at? Volume total. I have position right here. Open PL. Um, this is if you want to see your PL as you trade. Some people don't like to see their PL until they're done. And then I have it like that. So now I can move this up. I have opening price first. So we'll go up, move that up, we'll go low above that. And then we'll have, uh, I don't even have last actually. So let's go ahead and remove last. Um, whoops. We'll do volume total, position, open PL, quantity. So boom. All right. Now we have exactly what I have over here. And we'll go on to the next setting. So the next step is the histogram bar here where, you know, you're not really seeing too much on this particular. Let's see if we can get a better look at another stock here. Um, maybe. Okay, so Apple, you can see we have green being at the top, red, yellow, blue, and then green, yellow, or green, red, yellow, blue, light blue, peach, white, and then the awkward blue. So that's how that looks over here. So when this is showing 100, it'll show here. If this is showing 535, it's the biggest one. It's over here, and as you can see, 429 here is the biggest one here. So this helps visualize the level two. And what I like to do is set it up in a certain format that this is really hard to read, if, if you ask me, right out of the gate. So the first thing you need to do is move this, this price area, this depth part, and I, there's no way to remove it that I know of, so I just kind of move it over. And here's the kind of like the breakdown line here. Um, as you can see, 4881 um, here, and then 207 here, but they're like the same color, just, just a different shade of blue. So I'd like to make it different. So let's go into that and see what we can find out. So first we need to go into columns, detail pane, and we don't need all of this information. Well, actually we need three of them. So we, just, we don't need time. So if we remove the time, it allows us just to see the ID, the ask, and the size. All this will go together. So we have to make the changes how we did it over here, but one thing at a time. So I just reduced that. So we're just looking at the ID, the ask, and the size. The ID is the exchange or ECN. We're talking NASDAQ, ARCA, EDGEX, and whoever else might be there in when this when the level two changes. So let's go into the next step. In the next step, we hit, whoops. In the next step, we hit uh, general. under window there we go and as you can see we're showing maximum color levels in summary and bar graph what I have it set for is eight the other thing is so I said to eight another thing is this bars up bars top down versus bottoms up I like bottoms up better so here's, here's you can see it right now from top down, but if we do bottoms up, watch what changes. And also look at the number of eight. So we're gonna go to eight here. And now we're going top to, or bottom to top, which makes it, I think, easier to read. Um, but that will depend on you. And obviously all of these settings are dependent on how you wanna visualize it. So that will be, come down to that. And um, this is just how I do it. And it's worked for me so far. So under levels in the window button, so we're gonna go general, and then you're gonna hit, you're gonna see levels here. And you can see this is all the different colors we have uh, available. And pretty much you have every color under the rainbow to select. So we'll just go through a couple of these. I'm gonna make this white, and then I'm gonna make this a dark green. And then on level two, I'm gonna make this white foreground with a red, dark red background. And then on the next level three, I'm gonna use yellow, but I'm gonna change the foreground because you can't see that to black. And then I'm gonna take level four and make it a dark blue. We'll just use this blue and white is good. And then on level five, we're gonna do a light blue. There's no particular rhyme or reason why I'm doing these particular colors. It's just what I like. So we'll use a white background and then on six, I'll use a peach background with a black foreground. And then level seven will be a white background with a black 
foreground. And the rest will follow underneath. Eight, nine, ten will kind of fade off in their own little blues. So if I hit OK, boom. We're now looking at the colors I have on my nicely formatted uh, level two. So now we still have an issue with size. So let's get into the size. So for size, you just go to font. I use Arial Black uh, Bold 11. That makes these nice and clear and clean and easy to read. And that pretty much sets you up on the level too. So now if you notice we have all this space here, all this space here, plus your monitor, you know, can only hold so much, right? So let's bring this down into this size, all right? Now we get everything we need. This is Tesla, so we're seeing probably one of the bigger priced stocks, so you have the availability of spaces. So example, if you did a stock that's not trading that much, that's, you know, a single digit stock, you know, you have plenty of room, but you wanna have enough room for the bigger stocks so you can see everything when you go from one stock to the other. So obviously up here, you might not catch it all. So you can reduce, let's say symbol, then you can do the open and everything is, everything is, you know, adjustable um, down to this. And then, but once you get too far, you start to lose some of the things. You're only allowed to show so much if you reduce the size that much. Um, but overall, that's the majority of what you need to do to your level two. Now the trade bar here, you can add the advanced bar, you can do all kinds of other stuff. I think this is all you really need to do though. Uh, allows you to create um, you know, all kinds of orders from limits, to markets, stop limits to stop markets. And um, you can you know, obviously select all the routes you wanna do. I pretty much take intelligent most of the time, if not all the time. Um, and you can switch from uh, day. So when you go into after hours, it's day plus, and then you can do the whole good till cancel stuff. But as a day trader, you don't have to worry really about worry about that. Um, obviously, the bracket orders I don't even mess with, but there's so many different adjustables you can do um, by percentage or points or whatnot. Um, but that could all be done on the market depth. So that, if you look at the two. We're talking very similar, if not the same thing, set up in you know no time. But to get it figured out the first time, I wish I had this little video because it really helped do it. Um, obviously, I might have missed a setting or two, and you could turn the quote bar off if you don't want it. Um, you could turn the trade bar all, bar off if you don't want it. Let's say you don't want to see this many levels. Um, you just want a small, like maybe this many levels. You could do that. That gives you a little bit more space below for a chart or something else that you might be following. Um, you can turn, here's the advanced bar um, for your activation of your trades, um, for rules and whatnot. I don't think you necessarily need that unless you really want it. Summary pane, um, you know, there's just so many things you could you can remove the details. You could just get rid of the level two and just watch the histogram. I don't know if you really want to do that, but, um, you know, plenty of methods of using the market depth to make it look like this or make it the however you want it. Um, you have order entry preferences you can set up. Um, you have just a plenty of ways to use this will allow you to set up your um, trading platform for speed. And that's what's key here. If you have the speed, you'll be set to go. And I think this covers everything that I do. Um, again, go over your settings and confirm what you like. You might not like green, you might not like blue, whatever. You can put red at the top, it doesn't matter. Just something that works for you um, that's allow that will allow you to visualize level two a little bit clearer than when it's out of the gate. Because if you, again, going back to the original, out of the gate level two, eh, it's kind of confusing, you know? So. It's not confusing, but just you don't need the time. Um, you don't need certain things. You, you want to be built for speed. So that covers it. This is Rich with some action on the TradeStation platform. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you want me to go over, and I will do the best I can to do that. And you guys have a great day.